Welcome. Today we are going to be looking at Prusa Slicer for our 3D printers. Uh, this software is going to allow us to take our CAD files and convert them so we can bring that file into the 3D printer and create those projects. Again, we are in the Itopia software, so we're doing remote login uh, and we are on the Chromebook device ready to start going. Uh, one of the first things you do when you open up Prusa Slicer is it's going to go through a configuration wizard. Might do this every time, might only do it once. We're still pretty new, uh, but we're going to go through that process today because you are going to need to set up this configuration on your own. So here are going to be the steps on that process. Uh, we currently have version 2.6.1. That'll probably change over time. Hopefully the configuration is still pretty similar as we move forward. So as you can see, it's the first time opening. We've got this wizard that popped up. If it didn't pop up for some reason or you need to tweak the settings, you can go into configuration over here, configuration wizard, and bring this window again. So we're just gonna keep using next as we go through these windows. It asks what printer do we have in-house that we're gonna be using. Uh, currently, as of today, the only printers we have right now are the MK3S Plus with the 0.4 nozzle. We want to make sure that that nozzle and printer is checkmarked so that when we're sending our files out, it knows what type of printer to set the file up for. Because there's lots and hundreds of 3D printers out there um, to use. We are looking to likely purchase some MK4 uh, 3D printers soon as well. So I'm going to leave this one checkmarked too. And you may have to select which printer you're going to use when we get into the software later. So we have two printers, the MK4. 0.4 nozzle and the MK3S Plus 0.4 nozzle. Next. We don't have any SL printers, so we'll leave those unchecked. We don't have any other vendored printers here in house, so we'll go next and leave all those empty. Um, custom printer setup, we aren't setting up anything custom, so we'll just say OK to that. Here's what type of filament we're going to be using, and some brands are recognized, some are generic. Uh, we're using a lot of generic filaments as well as some overture filaments. So I'm going to uncheck the Prusa. And if we change our filaments, you could come into these settings and turn them on or off. And then I'm going to scroll down a ways here to generic. Uh, we don't run any ABS. We are PETG and PLA for the most part. And then I noticed that they do now support Overture PLA, which we do run quite a bit of as well. Probably similar to generic, but it might hold some nice settings for us. So we have three checked here. Next, we're gonna leave these as default. We're gonna leave this as default. Uh, we're gonna leave this here. Uh, we're gonna leave that. I like to go to expert mode, gives me more options when I'm in Prusa doing stuff. And we like to be in inches here. And we'll finish that out. And it is going to set up those configuration items for our software for us right here. So we have our three filament drop down options generic, PLA, PET G, and Overture. So that way we can select the correct filament you're going to be printing on. We have two printer options, the Prusa i3 and the Prusa MK4. So depending on what printer is available or that you plan to print on, you will need to select which one of these if you have two showing. That will be important to know that process. You can't just take a file from one printer uh, to the other printer. So those are kind of what we're cleaning up is to make sure it knows the material and the printer that we're going to be using through that process. I'm not getting in detail right now with these other tabs. We'll do that on future videos. This is just setting up the printer so that you can bring in that first file and begin printing. Again, I don't know if it'll save these settings with your user login each time or if you'll have to do this every time we open up Prusa, but this is the process so that you print properly. 